これは夢に違いない違います私たち5つ後の姉妹です Welcome back to Kernexia's Cookery. This is episode 3. If you missed the last two, boop, boop, you should check them out. They're great. But today we decided to do something different. We're going for drinks now. If you are a fan of boba tea, this episode might be for you. And if you are a fan of cocktail, this episode might also be for you. I like to theme my videos around anime content to a certain extent, and right now there is the quintessential quintuplets that is currently airing. A story about a guy that has to tutor five sisters, all of which have their own personality. So I decided to theme every single drink that I'm gonna make after one of the five sisters. We got Ichika, the first sister, we got Nino, the second one, we got Miku, Yotsuba. And finally, it's a key. Here behind me, we have the ingredients that we're gonna need to create our perfect waifu. Follow along if you'd like to. If not, then let me show you the steps. Making bubble teas or cocktails are rather easy. At its core, bubble tea is just tea with some kind of creamer, like milk. Over time, the addition of tapioca pearl is what became known as bubble tea. And then there is a huge assortment of flavor you can pair them with. Cocktails are just about the same, but with alcohol instead. Of course, it goes without saying if you're underage or don't like alcohol, stick to the virgin bubble tea version. All of these mix work just as well with or without the booze. Let's kick it off with making the tapioca pearls themselves. I found this really neat bag on Amazon that you can buy for about $10, and they taste exactly like the ones you would get in a traditional bubble tea stands. Of course, this is not sponsored, but if you're looking for an easy way to get them, that would be a great place to start. Super easy to make too, you just need a big cauldron. One cup of pearls per 10 cups of boiling water. Yeah, I said 10, they expend quite a lot. Just be aware that I'm making an entire cup because I have five drinks to fill. You can easily get by with a quarter cup if it's just for a single drink. Adjust your ratio as you need. Let these cook at boiling temperature until they start floating. Then you will want to cover them and make them simmer at medium heat for two to three minutes. Kill the heat after and let them rest for another two to three minutes. Once that's done, you'll need to scoop them up and put them in cold water for at least 20 seconds. Tapioca pearls like this don't really have a long shelf life. They'll be good for about a day, so cook them as you need, and I do not recommend making leftovers overnight. However, we can give them a nice home in the meantime in turbinado sugar. Very simple to make. In a pot, take a ratio of 1 to 1 sugar and water. So if you have one cup of sugar, that's be one cup of water. If you don't have sugar, you can use honey or brown sugar, it works the same. Bring to a boil and stir until it's all dissolved. Pour into a bowl and wait for it to cool off before dropping your tapioca in it so it doesn't start cooking them again. And now our base prep is ready. Let's start off with Ichika, the first daughter. For Ichika, I decided to go for a coconut flavor. She's often seen with her white shirt and her hair being the faintest pink of all five girls. It seemed appropriate. For the bubble tea part, you'd want to go for a black kind of tea. That's what pairs best with the coconut flavor we'll be getting here. To maximize the coconut flavor, I have some coconut yogurt, and I would recommend some coconut milk if you can score some as well. I just have regular milk, but it also kind of does the job. I turned mine into a cocktail by adding some Malibu coconut flavor rum in it. And finally, some coconut flakes to serve as optional garnish if you like them. Put one cup of coconut yogurt, two cups of coconut milk or regular, and depending on how strong you like it, I think one ounce, aka one shot, is plenty, but you can go double if you really like it strong. At the end, add your pearls and flakes, and just like that, you got yourself an Ichika bubble tea cocktail. Or just a virgin bubble tea. Next is Nino, the second daughter. I went for a green color to pair her aesthetic to the greenish ribbons in her hair and her skirt. I, I don't know. So we're going for a green tea mint matcha flavor. Matcha is not a taste a lot of people like, and I'm one of them. I also kind of hate matcha, but with the mint addition, it really cuts the bitterness out and makes it quite good, surprisingly. So here I have some matcha powder will dissolve one teaspoon into two cups of water. I have a jasmine tea, 
but any green tea would work as well for this one. If you're a fan of green tea, this might be for you. And finally, I have a creme de menthe alcoholic beverage. This might be tricky to get depending on where you live in the world. I'll pour two shots because I love this drink. But if you can't get some yourself, or if you want a virgin version instead, go for half a teaspoon of mint extract and a quarter cup of cream. Mix well and finally add your bubble tea at the end so you can slurp up some Nino. Number three is Miku, the quiet girl. Often paired with the color blue, I decided to go for a blue lagoon kind of drink. This is super easy to do, but I'll give you two angles whether you want a cocktail or a virgin bubble tea again. Three cups of lemonade, one ounce of gins, two shots of Lucrecio. Add the bubble teas if you like or drink as is and you have a fantastic cocktail. And finally, if you had a touch of cream, you'll get a really cool visual effects that can wow your guests. Bubble tea version is quite similar. Tea wise, for this one, I recommend a oolong tea. Add your tea to two cups of lemonade and to achieve that blue glow, I have some blue raspberry syrup that's just gonna get the same effect that the blue Caracio does. Add your touch of cream for that dope visual finishing touch and don't forget to put your bubble teas at the bottom. Anytime I look at Yotsuba, I can stop thinking about mangoes. I think it's the hair and her poppy attitude. Anyway, for her, I got some mango juice, an actual mango, ice, lime juice, and to match her overwhelming presence, some actual bourbon. Start by slicing and dicing your mango, Add two cups of mango juice, one quarter cup of lime juice, and a shot of bourbon. Again, if you're going for the bubble tea version, substitute the shot of bourbon for your favorite kind of herbal tea. Chamomile is a good recommendation here. Add that ice for the perfect mango daiquiri, and don't forget your splash of milk and tapioca. It'll make you dance like you just beat your four other sisters at something important. And finally, you can't forget about girl number five, Itsuki, a crowd favorite, a passionate tsundere. How can you possibly drink her? That sounded less weird on paper. Passion fruit and pomegranate? It's a white girl's carnal sin, the easiest mix of all. Any kind of white tea, or whatever you fancy really at this point doesn't really matter. Two cups of passion fruit juice, a quarter cup of pomegranate syrup, I've added a shot of Dominican rum to mine, but you can get by easily as a virgin, just like it's a key, and it's just as delicious. And I'll be honest, I cheated and added some red food coloring to get that popping red color for that one. You can do it out, it's just for show. Drop your remaining tapioca bubbles and admire your final collection. I'll be honest, every virgin version is an absolute killer. If you don't like tea or don't have any, that mixes themselves work just wonders with kids. They're pretty much juices and smoothies. I made the Itsuki bubble tea for my three-year-old and she got mad excited at how good it was. <laughs> Try any of these out for yourself or if you ever host any parties, you know, once the whole COVID thing blows over. And let me know which one you like the most if you end up trying any of them. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you had a good time and subscribe for more of Krenixia's Cookery. Don't forget that I love you times infinity and I'll catch you guys next time. Turns have been on the wrong side, I've been ashamed So many memories, you know I'd like to change yeah.